Hi, my name is Profai, and in today's video I'm very delighted to welcome you in the Bovenkirk in Kampen. This uh, wonderful church gave me the opportunity to record the wonderful Hinz organ and the choir organ, and I'm very happy to be here and to be able to show you this beautiful instrument. I'm very new to this uh, real organ as well, so let's just discover it together. And let's start out with the Preston 16 foot on the great manual, the Hoftwerk, and uh, let's see how it sounds. Combine it with the eight foot. And the four foot. And the special thing about this organ is, which I didn't know before is that you slightly have to pull up the stops to pull them out. Because of the weight of the uh, stop system, uh, the stop would just come out automatically if you wouldn't lock these. So it's a bit unused, but it's interesting to know, I guess. So the Preston 8 foot sounds like this. With the 4 foot, we've just heard. Then there's a two foot. A quint. And then we've got a lot of mixtures. There's one in the discant, the higher octave of the uh, manual. There's a lower one, which works with the 16 foot. And a sharp, which is very uh, bright. As well as a tertian, which adds a bit of depth. That's the sound of the Hofberg. If you want, you can add some trumpets as well. So we've got an eight foot trumpet. As you can see, I have to stretch quite a bit to reach the outside of the organ. The trumpet eight foot. And then there's a 16 foot as well, which sounds like this by itself. Of course, it's split, so you have a bass option as well. And if you combine them, it sounds like this. And if you were to pull out all these stops of the, uh, at least all the principal stops of the Grand Orc, or the, the main organ, the Hauptwerk, it sounds like this. So that's a quite heavy and a quite strong. And of course, I hit the flutes uh, for now. We've got two flute stops as well, the whole pipe. And there's a 16 foot flute as well. Sounds like this.
could combine them. Very soft, very beautiful. It's perfect to accompany the other solo voices on the other manuals. So, speaking of other manuals, we'll start with the uh, third manual, the Bovenwerk. As you can hear, all well, the keys are quite used and <laughs> a bit heavy to press, but uh, that's fine. Um, so, the Bovenwerk uh, press taunt. Then there's a three foot. And a uh, little mixture. A loud mixture. It's very bright and shiny. And then we've got some wonderful flutes on here as well, which um, is the Rohr flute, the Rohrflöte 8 foot. Now it's four foot to complement it. Four foot by itself sounds like this. Very bright. And to complement both of these stops, there's a three foot, a Nassat as we would call it in German, which uh, makes a wonderful solo voice. So I'm accompanying this with the uh, great manual. Speaking of uh, three-foot voices, there's another one called Gemshorn. Sorry, it's a two-foot, of course. But speaking of two-foots, we can combine it with the eight-foot and get the lovely uh, shiny voices. Very bright and shiny, the uh, four foot flute works as well. Very great. So, there is a string like voice as well here, the uh, Quintadena, or at least uh, something like a string. I like to combine it with the uh, flute. And then, to top this manual off, so to say, we've got a reed voice, which is the uh, Vox Humana, an eight foot bass, and this sounds like that.
And of course, a Dutch organ wouldn't be a Dutch organ without a tremulant voice. And if you engage that, it sounds like this. Of course, you can always add some foundations. And that's the Vox Humana. If we uh, push that uh, in again, we can hear some uh, other voices of the president with the tremulant on. And of course, um, you can use this uh, tremulant voice and the 8 4 and 3 foot to make a wonderful solo voice, um, which can be accompanied on the great manual. I also like to use the uh, eight foot flute and the quintadena as a solo, as a quiet solo. Sounds like this. And uh, well, let's pull out all the stops of the Waffenwerk worm, so to say. And um, Let's hear how this sounds uh, with the caparus and like that. It's very mighty and pretty pretty useful in most cases. So, um, the organ actually has a second Bovenwerk, um, which uh, doesn't play any of the manuals um, uh, until it's activated by this stop. So, uh, the organist here told me that it is to uh, basically preserve the um, original condition of the organ, uh, built, uh, or at least the condition from uh, the 1800s, and if you activate this, you will also activate the uh, later stops marked by these uh, little lines here, which were added to the organ by another organ builder. So you have the original organ with the Bovenwerk 1, and then you can add the Bovenwerk 2 as well, and have a large mixture of organ building styles, so to say. And um, let's check out the second Bovenwerk, which has uh, some wonderful flutes to start with. And um, let's start with the first flute. soft, very gentle. There is a flute traverse, which is more bright. You can combine them to get even more flutiness. And then there's also a string voice, which I like to combine with flutes, which is, well, you know.
sounds like this. Then there's a yeah, sorry, principal forefoot. And a one foot, which is unusual and very bright. And I like to always combine these one foot uh, flutes with a eight foot. Which makes it very, uh, very playful uh, to play with. <laughs> okay. And then there's a two foot, uh, which I also like to combine. With an eight foot. And that's how it sounds like. And then we've got uh, the fun stops, which is the trumpet eight foot. which at least allows some kind of um, romantic uh, literature on this organ, because the original swell already had the vox humana, which is very narrow in sound though, and a carillon stop, which sounds like this by itself. Basically a very large mixture. I will uh, play it with the eight foots to start with, and uh, four foot. And just add all the other stops uh, without your trumpet. And with the trumpet, it sounds like this. So it will uh, definitely add some depth to the original Nibbowen Werk, which we can hear by pulling out all the stops of the Boven Werk 1 and deactivating this manual. Let's hear the 1. And let's activate the second one as well, like this. So, we can actually hear a huge difference in uh, uh, depth of the, of the sound in general. So, let me just uh, put all these stops in, which are very hard to operate, actually. So, you uh, ooh, better have a, an assistant to help you with uh, registering this organ. And, well, we've got this, we've got this. So let's start with the um, no, the Rückwerk of the organ, which is uh, very direct in sound down in nave and uh, is perfect for Baroque literature, for example. It's a principle eight, principle four. Three foot. Two foot flute. There's a two foot octave as well, which sounds like this. Then there's a one foot sifflet. And of course, a mixture, which sounds like this. Like this, and then we've got a uh, sixth Vialtera, which is a solo voice to start with, but we can also use it in the piano. Something like this. So let's start with the uh, sixth Vialtera, actually, uh, which is commonly used with some flutes, and makes a lovely solo voice like this.
can also use it with the three foot. Which makes it a bit uh, wider in sound, as I would call it. Uh, you can also use the uh, three foot by itself. which is one of my favorite voices of the organ. And well, we can use the flutes by it themselves. Uh, let's start with the whole pipe, the eight foot flute. Four foot. And the two foot. It's wonderful and very bright, so you could always um, use it for, for shiny solo passages like... So that's the eight and four uh, and two foot, and with the four foot it sounds like... Very fun to play around with. Uh, as a foundation voice, we've got the Fagot 16 foot, which is a large reed, uh, something like this. It's very fun to, to play with. And if we pull out all of these stops, which we always like to do, of course, <laughs> um, it sounds like this. So it's uh, pretty massive. So uh, the organist also told me that there is a special stop which uh, prevents the, the air, especially if you're pulling out all of this, which you shouldn't, by the way, um, uh, that the air uh, doesn't catch up with the um, uh, wind uh, supply needed. And then there is the shock bolt option, which basically uh, stabilizes the wind. If we put that out, you hear the, it's, it's suffering from air loss a bit. <laughs> and if you pull that, um, it gets rid of it and uh, makes the sound very uh, straight and um, straightforward, so to say. There is a tremulant on this manual, of course, which can sound like this with the flutes. Four foot flute. And of course, you can use the three foot and accompany it with uh, another manual. my favorite stops on this organ, for example. Um, this is Sesquialta, which makes it a bit more uh, strong and sour. You 
produce that to uh, accompany the congregation, for example, um, at least if there are uh, a small amount of people. And then we can listen to the principles uh, with the tremulant engaged. Four foot octave. Which is incredibly wonderful. <laughs> I love these instruments. So that's the Rückwerk. And then we've got the fourth manual, which is the Borswerk um, directly above me, so to say. And this also uses this uh, uh, ranks, uh, so to say, but not the ones with the line, but the ones without. And it should sound like this. Of course, it's split again. sounds very direct uh, for the organist and for you, of course, because I mix the audio with uh, the camera. And, uh, but down in Nave, it should sound very quiet and lovely. At least I hope so. <laughs> and um, we can also use the flute. And then there's a two-foot flute as well. And it sounds like this. And there's a reed stop. We've got a dulcian which is um, very narrow in sound, you will hear it. I'm actually not quite sure what um, the use for this manual is, but <laughs> I'm no expert either, but um, I could imagine to use it for solo passages, for example. So if we pull that, we have the tutti of the manual. And that's basically every stop of the organ. We'll check out the pedal now, which is uh, not as big as other organs, but it's uh, sufficient. And with the coupling of the manuals to the pedal, it's uh, very strong as well. So uh, let's check out the pedal stops. Um, the Supas, 16 foot. That's the foundation voice of the organ, so to say. There is a Preston 16 foot, which uh, adds a lot of depth to the organ, and it's used with the principles, of course. Um, then we have a Gedacht 8 foot. Which is a flute. And we've got a Rockwind a 6 foot, which sounds like this by its own. But uh, develops a certain mixture like sound when uh, used with the uh, 16, 8 and 4 foot. Without. With it. It adds a bit more overtones. And then we've also got a 4 foot in a pedal. And the fun reeds, of course. The uh, Posaune 16 foot. Something like this. And then we've got a trumpet. In A foot bass. And a cornet in a four foot bass. Okay. As you can see, not all the notes are working. And then I forgot a two-foot open flute, which sounds like this. 
very shiny. And if we combine all of these stops, we get the pedal tutti, uh, which sounds like this. <laughs> After hearing the mighty pedal division of the organ, we all want to hear the tutti of the organ with all the stops pulled out. Um, at least most of the stops pulled out because if you pull out the flutes as well and all the other stuff, uh, the air gets, uh, yeah, gets short and it's not nice uh, to hear that. So I've pulled all the uh, Preston voices out, the strong voices of the organ and uh, at least some uh, <laughs> flute voices as well. And I've already coupled the manuals, so um, if I play here, these keys and these keys moves as well. And um, I will also add the second Bovenwerk later, so you actually hear the difference. Um, this uh, second, or at least floating manual makes to the organ. And um, yeah, thank you for watching the video. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and um, I'd be very happy to uh, see you again another time. So I hope you enjoyed. And uh, well, let's listen to the mighty tutti of the uh, hens organ in Kampen. <laughs>